Take care back again for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing you my thoughts on my new DSLR. It's a mirrorless camera, by the way. <laughs> what am I doing? This is a very cheap setup here. It's actually under $400. I'm going to leave all the links in the description down below if you guys want to go check them out. This camera setup right here for me, I think it's good when you're on a shoestring budget. Now this may not be an end-all be-all type of setup so if you are a beginner vlogger or a YouTuber or anything social media related so if you are on a shoestring budget this one right here would definitely do the trick it will give you pretty good quality video and as well as audio at the same time so let's go ahead guys and get started so first let's take a look at the camera this is the Canon EOS M and this is the first generation and this is Canon's first take when it comes to the mirrorless camera scene now we all have the Panasonic G5, Lumix G7, or the Sony A6000, and those are really, really good cameras, and at the same time, they're very expensive at the same time, but if you're a beginner vlogger, this one is pretty good because of the fact that it takes really good videos, although I've seen a lot of reviews online where the camera actually sucks when it comes to taking photos. The only reason why is because of the autofocus. So it's not very fast, it's not really sharp. Thank goodness for Canon for releasing a firmware update, they finally managed to fix this. It's still not as fast compared to the cousins of the Rebel series, but this one actually does a pretty good job when it comes to videos because of the fact that it actually shoots 1080p by 24 frames per second and it does have a movie servo autofocus so you can get DSLR like quality when it comes to shooting videos so you do get that cinematic quality if you don't believe me let's go check out some videos that I took really good because if you want a good quality video you need to have a good quality audio as well with that said I do have here on the side a Tackstar microphone it's a shotgun microphone modeled SGC 598 and this one right here guys is only like $35 on Amazon and I saw a youtuber I uh, forgot his name but I'll put his link down in the description. He did a comparison with the Rode shotgun mic compared to the Tackstar microphone. And the difference is astounding just because of the fact it's only $35 and it does deliver really good quality audio. So you do have your power button right here. You, got, you, can, you can also set the decibel settings and your high pass filter. And the fact that this is only being powered by a single AA battery, so it does have this indicator right here to let you know that it's turned on so it's really cool and I did mount it here using an L bracket and I put a shoe mount in here just to, so I can secure it and it's pretty sturdy and there you have it guys so if you need a really decent microphone with good quality audio I will definitely check this out and then next up of course 
the cage. I got this on Amazon for forty dollars. It's a universal DSLR camera rig cage. It's actually fairly big when I got it and I thought it's gonna be a lot smaller. So it will fit most of the bigger brothers uh, when it comes to DSLRs like the Canon Rebel series or the Nikons. So this one right here is actually 40 bucks. It does have pre-drilled holes all around, quarter inch, so you can attach any type of uh, attachments that you wish to attach. So, I mean, looking at mine, I did have my microphone set up right here. I did move the handle to the right and I put a monitor on top just so I can see myself, so I can compose myself better whenever I'm taking a video of myself. Speaking of which, this is a, <laughs> it's an off-brand EOYO LCD monitor. It's an 8-inch monitor. Like I said earlier, it's not going to be an end-all be-all type of setup, so you can always upgrade over time. And this one right here, I got it on Vipon.com. I did get accepted for the request deal. So they're normally, they normally run for $69.99. I only got it for half the price, which is like $35 or something like that, which is a really good deal for me. So I did buy it anyway. So looking at the back right here, as you can see, I did a pretty good amount of um, finagling with it. So the fact this monitor right here did not come with an actual mounting system for a hot shoe type mount. So what I did is I bought this for like five bucks on eBay. It's a hot shoe mount with a swivel head on top with a quarter inch thread. And I actually bought these corner braces on my at my local hardware store. And it actually fit perfect so I can install the battery plate right here. It's a Sony NPF plate. This will actually power the monitors um, for any type of monitor that is running 12 volts it will actually run on 7.4 volts or 8.4 volts and this battery right here is actually really cool because this battery right here not only it has power it can also be used as a power bank because it's got a USB output and same as a 9 volt or a 12 volt output so that one's got you covered and if the battery dies out you can always charge it on the bottom and this one right here has a 12 volt input so you can actually charge it and it charges pretty quick because since it's running 12 volts so there you have it guys so like I said earlier this is not an end all be all type of setup this is only if you're on a shoestring budget or if you're a starter youtuber obviously like me who doesn't have a lot of money to spend on or you, if you do have money but you need to spend that money on something else but in the long run of course you, you'll be able to upgrade um, once you're done with your setup so so that's it guys so what do you guys think you think this is a dumb idea what I did right here or do you think it actually looks pretty cool pretty legit um, let me know on the comment section down below if you guys have any other suggestions that will totally help me out to helping my channel I would truly appreciate it just leave it down in the comment section down below I know there's gonna be a lot of hate when it comes to the cameras like hey that camera sucks that camera sucks this camera that um, you know, for me, so is everybody else with different kinds of cameras, it's it's all by preference, just like iPhone, Android, which one? So it's all preference and for me I chose to buy the EOS M just because of the fact not only it's cheap and it's a good starter camera system. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down on my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.